Is it hot or cold where you are today? Is it rainy or dry? The weather is always changing. Warm and sunny one day, cool and wet the next. When weather is tracked for 30 years or more, we see patterns. We call those patterns climate. Welcome to Storytime by Lingo Kids, where we discover fascinating facts about the world around us and the fun of play learning. Today, we'll explore natural and man-made changes in the climate. To understand climate change, we've gone to the Taku Glacier in Alaska. A glacier is a river of ice created when snow builds up and squishes together. It grows and shrinks over the years because of the climate. That's right, Billy. Taku is one of the thickest glaciers in the world. From 1946 to 1988, Taku Glacier grew about a foot, just over 30 centimeters, each year. Then, for about 25 years, it slowed down. And from 2013 to 2018, the glacier didn't grow at all. Then, the area experienced its warmest July on record, and the glacier started melting, causing the Taku River to flood. The Taku Glacier is an example of what has happened on Earth for millions of years. Earth has gone through seven cycles of freezing and warming. The last ice age ended 11,500 years ago. What causes an ice age? Right, Billy. Ice ages happen because of changes to Earth's orbit around the sun. Gases around Earth trap heat from the sun, making it warm enough for plants and animals to live. Less sun means extreme cold, an ice age. Many living things can't survive. Will there be another ice age? Scientists think ice age cycles may change because Earth has more CO2. What does CO2 stand for? You got it, carbon dioxide. Where does more CO2 come from? Here's a hint. Yep, the burning of fossil fuels, like coal and gasoline, every day all over the planet. As CO2 is trapped in the atmosphere, it heats Earth up like a greenhouse. Even a couple of degrees can affect habitats faster than plants and animals can adapt. Guess where it's warming up the fastest? You got it, Billy, the North and South Pole. The ice is melting, and as sea levels go up, many plants, animals, and people must move. That's called migration. Good point, Billy. In some places, warmer temperatures cause drought, a lack of water. As places heat up, water evaporates, drying out the land. <coughs> warmer temperatures also mean less snow on mountains the snow that melts into rivers and reservoirs. Well, don't be sad, Billy. Big problems can be solved with little acts. We can help by using less fossil fuel. Great idea. Use a bike instead of a car. What else? Super smart. Reuse things so fewer items are shipped to stores and homes. Moving stuff around takes lots of fuel. How about one more idea? Excellent. Choose food grown close to home. Some food travels as far as 1,500 miles. That's 2,414 kilometers to get from a farm to your plate. That's further away than the distance between New York City and Disney World. Remember, we're all on the same planet, Earth. Everything we do, every choice matters. We can be part of the change for good. Well, that was fun. Thank you, Lingo Kids listeners, for joining us today. 
If you could do one thing to help the planet, what would it be? 